Okay, right. That took way too long. <laughs> Apologies for the delay. I, um, I've got a very scuffed setup at the moment. I'm just going to make sure this is on Twitter and that it's working properly. Okay. Gotta make sure I've got the chat up as well so you can see what you're you saying. How's the mic quality? Is it any good? I, I haven't got a, a mic stand at the moment, so I might have to pick it up so you can hear me clearer. Uh, uh, right, I'll just put, put a tweet out and then um, be able to read the chat. <laughs> Okay, post is out. Let me see if I can. All right, my good. Perfect. Um, okay, I'll just read the chat on my phone because it seems to be quicker here. Um, but yeah, how are how are you all? How have you been? It's been uh, almost two years now, I think. Um, actually, over two years since I've done a stream. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have had a chance to play, but Curse Coliseum, basically the way it works is once you go in, two of your cards are taken away. You have to replace them with two random ones uh, that they give you. And um, yeah, I've managed to play it once through. I only got 11 wins, so I'm going to try and uh, do a bit, a bit better this time around. And to the person asking if I'm live on Twitch, I'm not at the moment. Oh god, I think this is uh, I think the chat is loading really slowly for me. Okay, let's see. Alright, there we go. I think it's loading a bit quicker now. Apologies. Um, okay, Langfrey, come into the car. There we go. O3 stream, yeah. I think it is going to be an O3 stream. I've got to pick my team carefully, dude. So, I say I used this last time, this double aqua with a with a reptile. Pero, I say it's a reptile. It, it didn't really help me out that much. I hit it's good um, in arena. Kaya, I think I am going to go with double aqua dusk pala. Pero, I'm not sure, Pa. Casse, I haven't played this enough times. So I think we'll go with this and we'll see how this runs, Pala. Thank you, thank you. Practicing, Pa. Alright, let's just get into it because if, it, if I do actually do well, it's going to be a long stream about. Okay, right. First one to get rid of. I don't think a Katara is going to be great on my backliner. As you can see there, there's a little trick where if you press escape, it goes back now. And um, you can see the other one, Muna. Uh, I think Kestrel is better here. Kase Bamboo Clan. Unless we swap it to a midliner, I think Kestrel is going to be better in the long run. Say Putangina before, or Bagro. Yeah, I, I know I know all of your um, terms, don't worry. Oh, this is not a great start. We've got double zero cost on our backliner. Probably going to lose the first game, if I'm honest. And now no Koi speed up either. So it might actually be better to play this as the, the midliner Pala. What is that, Axie? Right. Um... 
I think we're gonna go this way around. Cause otherwise we're in trouble. Ah, uh, I'll do we. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stay with with the original plan and just play it like a normal double aqua and see how this goes. Can you still make money playing this? At the moment, um, they've brought back a, a tournament where you can win, or the winner gets a Mystic uh, in this big tournament that's going on at the moment. Um, this Cast Coliseum is currently for AXP Lang, which goes towards um, part upgrades for your Axes. This is actually a really good starting hand. Um, I'm just going to spam everything and try to get rid of this bug, to be honest. If they play a Snow Shout, it's not great for us, but uh, we should just get some good damage off here. We really should be holding on to these um, to be playing to avoid their fish knock if the bug does stay alive, but we're going to play aggressively, Pala. And we should have held on to them, but the opponent's going to be out of cards now. I say they used four detail. Okay, we got stunned, but we ordered it, so we hit both our sandals, so it's okay, pal. Now we're out of cards done. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a long game. At least they've got a beast at the back. So we should be able to win. Kahet, we've got a double zero cost detail. Um, now, can I say they're out of cards? We can just play aggressively through and try to finish it off. Um, normally, if they weren't out of cards here, we'd be scared of a fish knack or a snail shell. But we have just seen three cards out of the opponent's book. Kaya, I think it's okay uh, to come through and kill now. Okay, good. They're going to get some damage in, but we are going to kill Dito. Where's Kairu? I did actually message Kairu, and um, I think he might be able to stream with me next week. Kase, I'm going away a lot on Thursday. I've only got a couple of days to record some videos and do some streams. Um, but I did tell Kari that you lot were asking after him, so I think he'll make time. He's so brang busy now, but he might be able to come along for half an hour long. Uh, not today, but another day, Pala. Okay. Now, he, the opponent is only at four cards, but they've been so brang aggressive the bar. Um, I really want to play this, but we are quicker than the Cotton Tower, so I don't think we're going to get it off. So I'm just going to pass and play it safe now. Okay, not bad. Um, now, Dito, Kase, if they do look to kill, I doubt they're going to play a full Ronin combo. Kaya, I'll play play this a lot. Medjo safe, it's not the best play, but we're going to hold on to these backliner cards. Kase, once we get to the end game, we, we've got a strong advantage. Okay, that's interesting and um, they must have been scared of us swinging through and killing their midliner Kaya they played both um silent whisper now we're alive pa it's good um should just be able to pass and um and win out from here or we can play aggressively then um i think we're just going to play aggressively swing through make sure to get the kill and then follow up with the Kestrel, just to ensure the killer let. Okay, nice. And that should be should be game one. I was honestly most worried about this one. And... <laughs> oh, I think I... For the person asking about scholarships. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if people do scholarships now. Because... Um, this Cast Coliseum, you don't really need to have a perfect team. Parang, you could have uh, a Dusk and two Aquas, or double Dusk and an Aqua, and more often than not, you'll win, because by the time you're, you know, three wins into this challenge, all of your cards are different now anyway. <laughs> so it, it doesn't matter that much, it's more about those first couple of wins. Can I say Reg's, um, Reg's classic, Goods and a Goods Tropper? Yeah, I can say that. Not with a great accent, because I've got a sh bang strong British accent. But. Right, so our option was Hero or Jaguar. Power of the back. Um, ooh, see, this is actually not bad. I like the, the pliers here. 
and the Jaguar is nice then. We do still have the Nemo, so we don't want to have four Aerocasts on our team. So we're just going to go for damage detail. Um, the question now is if we keep our formation powering this. Because this is now probably a, a better backliner than this Axie. Parallel, unless we play it as a frontliner, um, we're not really getting that much value. And annoyingly, it is slower then, so we're not getting the, um, we're not getting the spiky wing value. <laughs> so I think we're gonna stick with this and hope. Para, it could be a bit questionable. We'll see. I'm not sure. I think my chat's frozen a bit. The last message is one and three. <laughs> Right, so this is clearly what was a poison team. Um, we've got a 4 0 cast in our first hand. I think we're just going to pass out at this turn. Would have been able to hit one Catel, but it's not not too bad. It's alright, but. Here, um, to be honest, we can, we can kill through. Um, Powering this. Can he even play it safe? Play it this way around. This should be enough damage. We'll clear um we'll clear our stun if the opponent does come through. We played the, the cattail fast. Kase we were worried about getting stunned. Para here it would actually work better if it the other way around. Oh no. My Mac is low on charge. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> okay, so we managed to get the kill. Our order could have been better. Um, so if my Mac is low on charge, I might have to unplug my mic, which um, which will charge my, my Mac, or will be going through a dodgy laptop mic. Color. Okay, these are we're going to pass. I say low on cards, not much of a threat, and we can just save up to do more damage next time. Okay, we can get some damage through. Play one Nemo Lang, I say we're worried about being stunned next round. Um, both of these, oh, both of these spares as well. Okay, that might just kill. Um, got a lot of damage coming through here. Okay, we got stunned, so we got the, the Nemo pairing we said. Crit's not helpful, but it's not the end of the world. Okay. Managed to get the kill. Now, we can... Um, we could pass out of this. Peril. They might go front door here, so we're going to play to get as much damage as we can on this round in case they go through front. And if they go to the middle again, um, it's okay either way. We would have taken that damage. But as predicted, they did go front door, so good value. Ooh, crit's not great. But yeah, good value. Get the damage through. And now we know they're going to go for the midliner if they have the cards, so we can just attack. I say next round we'll be able to finish them off. And there we go. Got the kill. Right. I may have to um, plug my Mac in now. So we're going to um, we're going to struggle for mic quality for a bit. I do apologise, but I think it's safer this way around. Okay. So I'm going to unplug my mic. Let me know if um, you can still hear me. I'll try check the chat. Is the, the mic okay, pal? I don't know if it's working. Oh, no. You 
can see, you can't see me, but you can still hear me. Oh God, right. <laughs> Did I unplug the wrong thing? No, I plugged them. Ah, that was it. Yeah, it's the, the mic's, the mic's the same one, it's the camera that's swapped out now. So for about 20 minutes, half an hour, whilst my Mac's charging, we're gonna have to go without a camera. I do apologize. I hope it's okay, pal. Just checking if everything else is okay. All right. Apologies for this. I will try to get a better setup for next time. Um, right. So, Dito, we don't have, uh, we don't need another zero cost on this team, Deba. Um, so that getting another a cattail here would be um, an interesting choice. As far as the back, Ronin's not great. We'd we prefer a bit more consistent damage, so we'll go with the Jaguar, Tapos. Um, you know, if we picked the cattail, we could actually run with this as our front tank. There, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with the hot, hot butt and then have this hot butt cash tool combo. Bella. Um, we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately, my service is so slow. I can't. I can't see the the chat in real time. Um, sorry if I'm missing any of your messages. All right, we're gonna try try go for the for the next game detail. Yeah, it's a it's a very questionable uh, disabler saw here with the with the pins to dim. Okay, so this matchup, to be honest, we should be fine. Let us say our tank is is definitely got an advantage here. Uh, Tapas Shempre. Once we get through to the mid game, that beast should be easy. The backliner, <laughs> uh, disabler saw. <laughs> With the hot butt, um, it should it should be okay, dude. So I guess we can turn off that chump. Um, yeah. So round one, we're gonna pass. Okay. Um, tap us. Hmm. Might play. Um, front, dude. So I say. The bar. If they if they don't attack, we get good damage. If they do attack, we should survive. Um, the question is really how much we follow up with. We can ensure a kill with something powering this. It may end up being massive overcommit. Para, once we get through to this beast, we're in a good spot now. Nice. Ends up being an overcommit. Yeah massive overcommit but we had expected that um probably could have done without that jaguar because of the um the high damage we had from the pliers so my maths is off it's been a while um i'll be honest so dito we can pass because our front tank's definitely dead there's no worry about a swing um i mean we could play the Kestrel, if we really wanted to turn off this clamshell. Barrel alert, we're expecting to get shield out of the opponent. So we'll um, we'll pass that. Yeah, okay. So we would have turned off a clamshell. Um, we're alive, Baron. I, I still don't think it was worth risking um, the Goda. Now, this is where it gets interesting because he can use... Uh, thorny land to finish off my front liner tap our swing through with a ronin and he's still got these two detail um so i think we're going we're going to ensure the kill on a lang. this should be enough um but i think we're going to chuck one more in just to ensure it Yeah, okay, so it would have been enough. We've actually ordered this wrong. We should have gone with the Hot Bat Mooner. Um, 
I think it's okay. One one hit lag. Okay. Could have done without that. Major, major poor play. Um, now, we know that they're going to come through and try kill us Tito. So, the question is, do we want to basically have no cards going into next round? Um, or <laughs> do we uh, pass out? Now, we can get good damage. Dito, Tapos, Kahit, we're playing from zero cards. We will have turned off the Clamshell and Chomp. So we'll survive whatever they play next round against our backliner. We can pass and then finish them off. Um, they are quicker then, which is actually quite worrying. Okay, that's that's an unfortunate crit for the opponent. Um, oh, they got one back. It's fine. Their, theirs was actually a lot more advantageous than ours, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, turned off both the horn. Um, now, because we've turned that off, we can actually just ensure the kill here. Um, Kahit, we drew both pencils, but yeah. This team is, this team is interesting. Um, I'm hoping that we can change up this back line as soon, but our front tank is the one that's cast now. Uh, so, Rice or Navaga, neither of those are great. Peril, we do get a bulk work. Now, this is interesting. So, what we can do here is if we take this bulk work and then we take the Rice, we can actually change our team around. Um, I think what we want to do is play, I want to play, this is a midliner, but the question, Nalang, is if we play this DTEC Disablesaur as our backliner, or if we want to play the Nemo as our, as our backliner. Can I say this Nemo Aqua and the midliner would actually be a good combo, so I think like it's a complete waste of this Axie as a whole. Um, I'll spin this round. Um, oh, can you? Thank, thanks for the tip, Mark. I'll uh, I'll do that from now on. Okay, first game. I'm going to try it this way round, and then then we'll see afterwards. We'll see how it goes. Is that triple aqua? Oh god, what is this? That's interesting, to say the least. Now, they don't have any steals. They don't, they don't actually have any damage whatsoever. Um, <laughs> so this should be should be an easy win. Uh, we're playing aggressive round one. Can I say we got good cards? And let's see. Okay, good damage. Um... Tap us, we can pass out of this next round, but this midliner, we've actually ended up quite with quite a nice midliner. Um, the double steal is a bit much, but this this ball quirk rice combo is not bad for our midliner. We are dead though. Um, okay, so here it's quite an obvious time for them to brick wall. Um, para, we can play these car this parent uh, one card land. I say, if we play this one here and they play cards from their frontliner, it goes into our last stand uh, anyway. So it's an alright turn, but and they're only at four cards. Deso down. Okay, nice. All right, so we got the damage off. Hopefully, we don't draw too many cards into the backliner. Nice. Um, now here, they, <laughs> it's really the question if we're scared of the damage from this Axie, but I don't think we are. Um, so I think we, we honestly just carry on playing aggressively. They're only at five cards, so we can even play both of these disables here. Because there's not really too much to be afraid of from this midliner. And if we do come through and get the kill, then, then that's great. But next round, we can just play a book work. I, I don't know how they've ended up with, with this Axie. I'm, I'm intrigued. Based off the picture here, it looks like it was 
um a Nemo, Piranha, Arco, Scarab midliner off of like a double aqua team, but he's somehow ended up with the worst cards possible. Okay, nice. Um Yeah, I feel I feel a bit bad. They've definitely not got the greatest cards in the world. Now we I say they have the um the heal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pass one turn, then we're gonna attack with the dusk, and then we're gonna finish them off with the aqua. Is gonna be the way we do this. I think it takes. I think they've just given up, to be honest. Um, but it would take them <laughs> four, three, four backdoors to be able to kill our aqua, because there are only real damages from this um, might bite and twin tail. So yeah, I think I think they've just given up here. Right, let me see if this chat's working and I can read what you guys are saying. Enemies jabbles thou. Is it actually? Because if it is, that'd be quite funny. Yeah, the, the guy is not being good with, with his RNG. Oh, hi, Ricky, how are we? You doing well? Okay, all right, that should just be good. If not, then this is going to take take a while because they are not going to do any damage to me. And uh, okay, good out of this game. Um, it's going to be one of the less competitive ones we have. We've been very lucky with our cards so far. Okay, four wins. Now this is when it gets interesting. If they get rid of our Nemo and we don't get a Cotton Tail as an option, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because we don't have any energy gain now. Right. Um, snake jar or gerbil. Um, I know somebody said that I don't have to go back to the main menu, but I'm, I'm struggling uh, to find another way of doing it. Okay, so either we go with the zero cost option of this confident, which, I mean, it gives us a zero cost, but that's about all it does. Um, I mean, the confident in the snake jar could be okay as a frontliner. That, that's the one way of looking at it. Um, we definitely don't want gerbil, so... Or do we? We could play, we could play gerbil with, with the lamb and the, the jaguar and maybe kill something. But I feel like more often than not, we're going to get more value out of... Um, oh, I clicked the wrong button again. We're going to get more value out of, uh, and I click the wrong button again, at the snake jar. Now the question is, do we take the, the lamb for a bit of damage? We don't have that much aqua damage. Um, or do we take the confidence so we can play, play with the snake jar, um, manipulate the, the sh low shield of the snake jar? Um, I can reselect even if I... I did not know that. Um, okay. I think I'm just going to go with the lamb because it's safer. But the confident may end up being the better choice longer term. Um, I think this is okay to go with pack. I say this is definitely our best midliner. This is somewhat of just a damage tank. We're, we're going to see. The snake jar might save us, but we, we probably could have done with going with the... Uh, with the confident pillar. Right. Their team is interesting. Um, yeah. Um, not much in the way of damage that's going to do well against our frontliner. So. I think we might just go start bang aggressive. Detail. And play the double. The double goader. Okay. Nice. Caught him. Honestly that's a very risky player like I say we have the the rice then so it's not often that they're going to just completely pass um we want to hold on to this spear to play it with our rice mainly um and now off of three energy I don't think we're worried about them killing us unless they draw 
two cactus. Kaya will pass Nalang this turn, tap us next round, probably play a lot of cards from our front liner. Okay, avoid a yam, which is nice. Um, yeah, I didn't think that would hit that. So now the opponent's at three alert, not really too worried about them killing us. We can just play these three cards to try and get a kill on the front liner. If it survives, um, it's not actually great if it survives because they have the they have the axi kiss. So I think the way we're going to do this is like this: Pala, hold on to the snake jar. Um, we don't really want to get poison on our back liner, but the jaggy was nice just to ensure the kill. And since the mid liner's got cattail, then we can avoid playing uh, jaguars into cattail. Okay, three attacks coming through from the opponent, so it's not great for us, not the end of the world at the same time. Okay, let's see what this discards. Heartbook, Castrol. Okay, definitely two cards we'd have liked to still have. Um, now, annoyingly, we don't have a card to pair with the snake chart, so if the opponent plays their Cattel Muna, it will trigger our snake chart. However, if they play something from here, then it will still get valued. So I think we're going to, to risk it. We'll just play the snake jar and hold on to our cards again for the next round. But it looks like they've played that cattail first and, and have caught us out. Yeah. So that was to be expected. Um, my chat's finally caught up. Somebody's asked if I can speak Tagalog a lot. Um, Kaya ko mag Tagalog pero kanti palang is the word I'd answer that. I know basic phrases and um, a few words then, pero I rely heavily on Taglish pa. Parang, I can fit Tagalog words into sentences, but I couldn't speak pure Tagalog. Okay, so here, they're out of energy again, um, but we should just have enough to slam through and get the kill. Um, even play it this way. Should just be enough to get the kill here. And they've actually left an energy for us to steal them, which is nice. Yeah, I saw in the comments a lot of you were wondering if it was actually me um, making the posts. And yeah, that was me posting. Um, as I said, I know a few words lang. <laughs> okay, so here we can just play it safe, single book. We can play this double pincer as well to get rid of some of their cards. Any comments about classic? Um, I would say that we really have to wait and see what these updates are that are coming out. Um, I like this game mode, but not this game mode length. I'd like to see uh, leaderboards come back. I'm excited to see what this um, sort of two Coliseum mode is. Um, I'm going to put a video out probably over the next couple of weeks, just sort of a quick catch up on what's going on with Classic at the moment, because I'm sure a lot of you are coming back to it for the first time after a while and, and wondering what's going on. Um, so to be honest, it's still a lot of it's up in the air um, there. They're leaking things, but we're not too sure what's going to go on. So, um, yeah, I'd say it's probably a case of waiting a week or two and, and seeing where we're at with it then before I can really say say much about Classic. But I am happy that they're, they're making updates to it and that dev time is being focused on Classic now. In say for a while, it was, you know, left, left alone. Long. I'd like to see some balance changes done. Yeah, I, I know Kase, thank you, uh, Bryce. I, sometimes it's it's hard to... Um, I can speak Taglish, Medra naturally, but it's, um, it's hard when I talk about uh, some things that require a lot of English. I end up just using English words. Kahe, uh, I know a Tagalog term for it. Um, 
Somebody's asking, can't wait to see myself in the leaderboard. It would be nice. Um, I did play, there was a season before this one. I, I managed to finish, I think I came 26th, 27th, um, which was nice to, to be able to play on the leaderboard again. And um, for the person asking what's tribally in the chat, I appreciate the question. Um, tribally is where I've been working for this past four months. It's a social platform where you can uh, discover games and other people to play with and um, I think for a lot of you that have been out of the Axie scene for a while uh, it would be a good one to have a look, poke around, see what games people are playing, uh, see what other games are on Ronin and we've got lots of onboarding guides and content there that are easy for you to get set up. Um, if you do want to sign up to Tribally it's on tribally.games and you can just log in with your with your Twitter or your Discord, so there's a little a little plug for you all. Um, had to go, couldn't go a whole stream without plugging it. But yeah, I would appreciate if you guys go and sign up and just give it a look and let me know what you think of the site. Um, yeah, as I said, that's what I've been spending the last four months or so working on um, with the previous um, company behind AxiTech, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen as well or used their tools in the past. Uh, it's the same dev team and, and core team from that. And for the person asking for a camera, um, my Mac's charging, then I can plug the camera back in. Apologies, I'm, I'm a bit all over the place. But right, let's get into this. Um, our Goda. We don't really need a Goda because we've got a rice, so let's see. Oh. So the question is, do we want to get the risky fish for a bit more, um, a bit more rounded damage, or this axi kiss? Axi kiss could be fun. It could be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see what the other option is. Um, I mean, we're not going to play the anemone, right? So it's definitely a little branch. And then as far as balancing out the damage across the team, I think the risky beast makes sense because otherwise we'd be so heavy on beast bug damage. So this definitely feels like. This is honestly not a bad axi. This looks like something Kalako would have run in, back in the day. I think he's actually used this exact build. Um, probably just with Katara Pella. So I'm quite happy with this team so far. We haven't got any energy gain, but we've got lots of ways to, um, to outplay, which is nice. And I appreciate um, you popping that in the chat, guys. Thank you. Yeah. You guys agreed as well. The risky fish is definitely the best choice there. Now this is an interesting backliner. Zero cast, some good damage. Um, but <laughs> with our hot book cast short, we should turn off everything but the Navaga. So I think we can we can win that one v one. It might be a bit close though because the the Bidens will be good shield. Um, no antenna combo for the opponent. They do have a zigzag, so we can just play passively out of this. And we're not scared of them killing us in one round, so this feels like a very, very easy skip here. Wow, they went with big shield. Okay. So that's a good good round one for us. Uh, we definitely want to... It would have been nice to get some shield here on our frontliner. Or any cards, really, especially a snake jar, but that's okay. Um, we did just see a watering can, so we could go with this combo. However, uh, at the same time... Um, we do have very heavy beast bug damage and not a lot that's going to do well against this aqua so we might want to hold on to this risky fish um, to be honest I'm okay with just playing appliers we have just seen a zigzag and a lot of shield out the opponent so we could try kill them but we'd have to extend quite heavily to do that um, and I'm only playing this pliers because I'm scared that they might try two card kill us yeah two card kill and we should last stand because of the pliers. Nope. Okay. So the pliers was a was a bad play in the end. Um, now this is definitely a rougher position than we've been in so far. Uh, not the greatest start. So let's think about this. Um, this turn we definitely need to do some damage. Um, I'm thinking something like this. So we're not going to kill the opponent, but we are. Well, we're not going to kill the tank, but we're going to leave it fairly low, um, and then set up a swing for next round. We knew they were going to pass, so there was no point in using a ball quirk. So we get good damage off. Um, 
again, we didn't expect to kill there. Now this round we can just play something like the rice and the um, the Indian star. So even if this doesn't kill, we don't mind if they brick wall because we probably steal a spare energy and we still set up a, a swing for next round. If they play a hot butt, it's it's not great because they'll turn off our risky be our risky fish, but this should be a fine turn, whatever happens. Okay, so we end up missing one of our, well, we miss our Indian star, but we do get a steal off. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that turn. Um, somebody asked mine, kind of, have I eaten already the bar? Um, yeah, I, I had a, I ordered in a wrap, which was, which was nice. Um, so this round, five energy from the opponent. They don't have, well, they do have actually have quite a lot of damage. So I think we're going to need to brick all as much as possible. And then let's see what else we can do here. They could play the double, <coughs> um, the double shelter here, <coughs> excuse me, which would be quite bad for us. So I think we're going to try it over commit and, and make sure that we get this kill. Let's see. Okay, they went full damage. I think we should survive. Uh, we may have ended up overcommitting too much, though. They wouldn't have had an energy spare for us. Uh, for the person asking if I'm here in the Philippines, not at the moment, though. Um, I have visited a lot in the past. Yeah, um, it'll be my tenth time visiting the Philippines. Um, coming up soon. Okay, so Dito. There's really, there's, there's one play we can, or two plays we can make. This covers one card. Um, if we want to get really risky, we can steal and cover one card. But if they play two cards, we're, we're in trouble. So I think we're going to play the safer of the two players, which is we still cover the one, the one card, but we're... Um, oh. Okay, they played two cards. So it was okay. It was good that we didn't go with the, the rice, but not great. Pa. Um, now let's see. Now this is going to be a battle of <laughs> of discards. Um, I think we're going to pass the first time because they're, they're at two energy. And then we're going to play a discard, Kestrel, Hot Button in the next round. Okay, so we take a lot of damage. We don't. This is actually really bad. I think I just threw the game. I should definitely have played damage, played cards last round. Um, I don't think we'd have won either way though, because the opponents definitely got a big advantage up on us here. Cause I hit, we'd have attacked last round. Um, oh no, maybe we could have won with just attacking. That's definitely a throw on my part. Definitely a throw. I think we could have killed. So um, playing the the Castrol, a Jaguar, and a Pinsir would have been the best way of playing that last. Oh, what happened? Wait, why why am I alive? What happened? Hang on. Did they not? They must just not have drawn the parasite, right? <laughs> I was so confused, but then I forgot that I double double disabled them. You can see I've I've I'm very rusty now. So they just didn't get the double parasite. Maybe my player was okay in the end then. Um... <laughs> no Navaga, sorry. Yeah, he, it's the Navaga that they they needed to to draw. So he used one there. Ah, I made a misplay this round. Ah, that'll be why. So he tried to he tried to kill them. If he'd have played the parasite and the hungry bird, definitely would have beat me the round afterwards. So yeah, I don't I think mine was a misplay power, but the opponent managed to misplay even more than us. So he managed to win. Okay, that was a bit too close for comfort. No! I disabled the saw. No. Oh no. I was, I was having fun with that disabled saw. Right, okay. So, for the tail, I feel like Potato Leaf is just, is a dead card in most matchups. 
Um, what we could do here, uh, let me show you, let me show you guys what I'm thinking. Um, instead of playing this as our front liner, I think we swap now, and we make this. Um, oh, we could actually play this as a back liner. There's a lot that we can do here. Right, let me focus, Muna. Um, the potato leaf would be good as just shield if we're playing it as a front liner. Um, but at the same time, I think we just always take damage in case this doesn't become a front, front liner later on. Um, and the same, same here as the Serastis is just better. Now, this is, I mean, it's still got a zero cost, so it's not a bad back liner. But I feel like we can do something better here. We, we could even play this as our backliner and do something like that. Um, I know, I got I got great RNG at the start with that, the Sabre Saw, and now it's um, all over the place. I think we're going to stay like this for this game, and we'll test it out, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm liking the Snake Jar on the front, but we could also play the Snake Jar as the backliner, because it's got lamb pliers, it's a nice rounded build. Um, so we might just switch these two after this game. We'll see. And um, yeah, Kairu, he's he's busy now, busy now. Talaga, um, Pero, he might be able to come for a, a stream another day. I, I was having a chat with him yesterday because I saw a lot of you guys were requesting that he he come along. Okay. Um, that is that is a scary midliner. Um, now this is where if we had this as our frontliner it would be good because we could play this Serastis and get a good shield. Uh, I think we're just going to play Sabrang aggressively and see if it works out. His backliner is really good as well. That's actually a really scary backliner. It's close to a god bug even. And um, for the person who asked if I played Origins, I, I tried it, but to be honest, I couldn't really get into it. It just wasn't my um, my cup of tea, sadly. Um, so yeah, I, I tried playing it. I think the last time I played was October of 2022. I played a season. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't didn't like it too much, to be honest. It's just not my style of game. I didn't feel like there was enough... Um, enough decisions you could make during the game. Um, I'm sure it's better now, but yeah, it's just not for me. Um, now this round, I think they're going to be able to finish us off with their front liner. I'm going to risk it with one lamb. It's not a great play. It's probably not going to work. As expected, it did not work. Um, that's where, again, having that Snake Jar would have been nice. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I say we've seen steals out of this guy. This front tank has no reason not to play cards because it's the quickest. Um, so this round, I think what we're going to do is we're going to pass, then we're going to try play something like a Pinsir Serastis to finish off the front tank next round, and then swing through the round after. Um, okay, more cards out of the opponent. Just playing very aggressively here. Um, so they've used four cards now off that midliner, so we're probably not going to see a rice combo. I would not be surprised to see them continue playing aggressively. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play it like this. Tap us. Ooh. Um, this is a tough turn. I think we can afford to risk it one more round with our without playing our Indian stars. Okay. So unfortunately, we didn't manage to get the kill. They've played enough shield again to survive. So this round is definitely going to be the round that we, um, because we're quicker here, we can actually just full on brick all this round. They're really scared of our steals so, so far. Um, so we're going to play it like this. Play all of our energy to avoid any steals from the opponent. And um, we should just survive whatever they play. 
Okay, good damage. Oh, maybe we don't survive whatever they play, because that is a lot of damage. Oh no, not the crit. Oh, they actually saved an energy. We could have got a steal. Ow. So we could have stolen there. They've got a spare energy here. I think this is going to be our first last. Can I say they can heal up off this back line again? Um, try and show the kill with this double Jaguar combo. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble. They're at four energy now. We miss our pincer and we're third. Um, this is not good. This is really not good. We're going to have to pass this turn. They know that we have to pass this turn, so I doubt they're going to play their snail shell. They can just get good damage here. <laughs> You're asking what I think about Kathniel. It's, yeah, suck up. It's a shame. Oh, dear. Right. I think they're at, I think they're at three energy a lot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to predict the way they're going to play this now, shall but it could go completely wrong. We've managed to play around it, okay, but as expected, I think we're going to just die to their damage. Seems we should have risked the steal. Oh, no, we're alive, okay. Um, we might actually be able to win there. Let's see if there's enough damage on it. That's not the right way around to play it. Oh, we're not even slower. I don't know why I played this. I don't need to play this rest this here. Um, this is our highest damage, but I don't think it's enough. We need a crit. Yeah. Very close in the end, but I think I think our team needs some rejigging. I don't think that, that was the best way we could have played this team. And we definitely made a few mistakes. Um, we did get crit on a midliner, but there was a, a steal potential part in the mid game that we, we missed. So, let's see. Uh, another Rice or a Gila. And then for the back... Oh, okay, no, this is, this is nice. This is nice. Um, I think what we do is we play it safe, we take the Bidens, we take the Rice, and then what we do is we make this our frontliner. This is actually quite good now. This becomes our frontliner. Now we've got a good backliner and a good midliner, so we've, we've got a good chance here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, first, first match with this new build. That backliner is scaring me. Mm, this is not great. This is not great, this could be a lot better. So we're gonna pass round one, and then we will probably try attack through into the round two, but let's see. Okay, good damage from the opponent. This is very scary because their aqua's the quickest, of course. Or, or their bird's the quickest, of course. Now, they do have this... Um, they can actually kill us here. That is what I'm scared about. Oh, scared of, sorry. Um, but we're going to play this anyways to try to get some damage off of our frontliner. Some value off of our frontliner. Let's see. Looks like a gecko and a parasite. Okay, so it's not bad. We stay alive. It's not the end of the world. Um, this next round. Uh, what should we do here? What should we do here? We could play the pliers and try get a steal or something like that, but I don't think they're going to leave us an energy here, so I'm just going to pass out of this round. Okay, nice. Right, now this is where we can play a bit more aggressive. 
can actually go for two steals here. It's probably not going to work, but we use our beast bug damage anyway against this plant, and we save our aqua cards for the for the midline aqua. Okay, so we don't get a steal, but good damage in. Play around the snail shell, which is nice. Let's see. All right, this turn, um, we don't have a Bidens, unfortunately. It's quite a safe one just to play a single Indian star in. Okay, and they saved up. So this is quite scary now. Um, we're going to have to play those cards. And then... Honestly, we probably we're not expecting to get the steals again, but we're we're just do, using it for damage here. Okay, this could be a bit close. We might we might die here. Could really have done with our oh, it's very close, very close. Okay, yeah, we could really have done with that other. <laughs> The other Indian star, and also could have played our steals a lot better. So let's see. We waste the steals, but we do get enough damage off. Okay. Now, I think it's fairly safe here just to, to play the steal, play the damage, and then next round we'll kill with lambs. Okay, so they passed, which is good for them because that would have set up an opportunity to backdoor our um, aqua. But now this should just kill, kill them off and we can even play the Indian star too. Um, yeah, it should just be the kill. Nice. Okay, so seven and one now, I think. Our, our team's not that bad, but this is where it gets interesting is what happens to our midliner. Oh no, that's not great. Babylonia or bamboo? Rice or ranchu? Okay. Let me just make sure the stream is going all right. My uh, Wi-Fi has managed to die. <laughs> so um, I'm not sure if you guys can still see. Okay, so the Iguana is definitely the best choice there. And then a, sh a Shell Jab Solid here too. So I still don't mind this Axie. Still going to play it as our midliner. Because that front line is just a dead, dead Axie at this point. Okay, so they've got a nice, nice backline here. It's probably got a good matchup against our Axie because we're all melee. Um, I think because of that, we're going to try to play very aggressive and just get a double steal off in round one. It hasn't ended up working, but we do get good damage. Okay, I've, I've just checked on, on Discord to make sure the stream is working, and apparently it is, so that's good. Okay. So we got a good damage off. Um, this Axie is in a lot of trouble, but we have just seen three cards out of that one. So I think we're okay to carry on spamming. It's risky, but I think we're okay. Nice. Avoid a steal. This might actually kill with the activation. <sighs> one HP. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is very annoying. We don't have any zero cost to finish that off unless we get a, a pincer here. But we didn't get a pincer. Okay. Um, gonna pass out of this one 
I don't see them committing with a rice plus one from that back line. I feel like that would be very aggressive. Okay, so just one there, as, as expected. Um, so here, the question is if they if they go aggro and try to get some steals off on us. Um, and I play the one bulk work just to be safe. If they brick wall, it's not great, but we do get good damage off. Good damage off, we do get the kill. Um, now this turn, we're really scared of the gecko, but we're, we're more scared of the rice. So, we're going to just um, try slam through here with as much damage as possible. Yeah, I think this should be okay. Let's see. We're probably going straight into a double gecko, which we, which we did. Um, so we could definitely have done with using an Indian style there, but let's see. I don't think we're going to get enough damage. Gecko does a lot of shield. Yeah, okay. But we do avoid the, the double rice, which is nice. Um, but yeah, maybe instead of the full damage, we should have gone with an Indian star that would have given us better value. They could play double zigzag, which is one thing I'm scared of here. So I think we're going to commit to keeping up the damage. We could honestly have passed. Um, probably the best play there in hindsight. But it's still okay. And then here, again, definitely the best play. If they redraw a zigzag, then they can heal up. But assuming they don't, we're going to be seeing damage coming through from that backliner. Nice, it was a double rice again. So we actually do get some reflect value this time, which is good. Now, unless we can brick wall, we want to just do as much damage as possible now. Uh, can we brick wall? Not really. He's also got a razor bite, which is scary. And he's back to full cards. So I think we try we try brick wall here. If that's a double rice, then we might actually be okay. Should still be alive for one more round. Okay. Right. And now Um, we need to do as much damage as possible, so I think this is our highest damage now. We might actually be able to win. Uh, this is It was looking very rough, but I think we're going to be able to win. Okay, nice. Yeah, they messed, they messed up going for the, the steals that aggressively. Like, they did not need to... Um, did not need to play it that way because they had the razor bite. As long as they got through to the 1v1, they would have won. But we managed to get the win. I don't think we played it perfectly, but it worked out. Okay, eight wins. Let's get, we're getting there. We're slowly getting there. Right. Right, right, right. Let's see what to do with this turn. So, oh no, now this is, <laughs> now this is a choice. Um, is if we, if we pick the dino, it could become our backliner again. It could become our backliner again. Um, oh god um, I think we're actually going to commit to it being a front tank we're going to just take as much shield as possible with the fish snack and then if the, if we do see a bird we can actually kill it with the turnip double serastus but we've committed to it being our, our front tank now oh my god we've actually faced a bird okay we've got a chance here at, at coming through and serastusing it um, I mean, we could play really aggro. This feels like an okay turn to play aggro. Get some good damage off round one. Just 
My Wi-Fi is finally back on my phone so I can read the comments again. Okay, I can see the chat again. Sorry if I missed any of your questions or anything. Just retype them again um, if you did have questions. Okay, so we get a steal. Nice. Very sort of like middle of the road first turn from us. Um, we could have gone with the double rice if we really wanted to commit to trying to turn up their backliner, which could have been a funny play, but we're going to just pass out of this one. And again, we're, we're trying to get this turn up here, so we're not playing the Serastis. If we were trying to play perfect gameplay, the double Serastis, Pala would probably be better. Pero, we're going to try turn up this bird. And we probably should not have tried to turn at this bird because I think we're going to die. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're dead. Okay, so playing the Serastis was definitely... Oh, was def oh, never mind. Whatever we did, we were dead. It's okay. Don't mind that. Um, now, this is when it gets interesting because we, we're a bit exposed this turn. Um, I think the safest way of doing this is like that. To try and get some damage through, we also play the shield and we save these risky fish to attack into this beast, which is still very scary for us. Um, and if they do attack with the beast, then we, we're okay. And then what you guys will see here, Kase, they played um, the speed up. We're actually going to gain two energy off these iguanas then. Um, so whatever happens this time, we should be okay, pal. That'll be a good time for us. They attacked Barrow, as we said, we're going to get the energy. Um, and the next round, we can just pick wall. So double energy, seven energy. We should be perfectly fine going into this late game, whatever happens now. Okay. Big brick wall. I mean, we don't even need to go for a big brick wall, actually. We can just kill. Coming through here, kill. And then next round, when they have the dino activation, we can go with this double... Um, with this double Indian star. So our team's actually... <laughs> our team's quite interesting now that we've got more of a frontliner. Um, I think we've been quite lucky uh, so far. This Indian star has stayed for a lot of rounds, which has helped us. And we had the zero cost rice on the back line again. So I think that would have just been a double nut. So we've still got three energy here. Um, as we said should just be an easy kill now. If they go double dino, it's going to get so much reflect damage. Our order, we really should have gone with dino or with Babylonia first, but yeah, should just be game over here. Somehow, our... <laughs> it's quite funny, our desk is now quicker than our aqua. Uh, both 49 speed, I say, huh? <clears throat> Okay, let's see what the opponent's going to do. Maybe they, they've just given up now. Okay, no. Alright, so, another win. We're getting there. I think that's nine and one now. I think we should be able to get the 12 wins. We should. Let's see. Yeah, both, both of them were 40, 49 speed. Oh, God. Now this is where it gets interesting. 
So we've still got our Bidens. So we don't really want another zero cost. So it's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a beat. Oh, this actually is, is interesting now. It's no longer our really strong backline carry that we had. We're, we're lacking in the damage department now. We're definitely lacking in the damage department. This is interesting. I'm not confident now. I am not confident. Okay, but they've got even less damage than we do. So, <laughs> we might be okay. And we can actually turn it the bird a little. Okay, passing out of round one. Honestly, I think we pass out of round two, then. Our only players here are if we play off our back line or if we play off our front tank. We don't really want to attack into a yam on that front liner. Maybe we could have played the fish snack. Um, yeah, the fish snack could have been an okay play just to, to be safe, but we didn't play it. We've just seen a yam, so we can uh, try to get some damage off here. It's just not great. <laughs> the things we have to do to get damage are just not great. Okay. Last stand. Oh. Okay, right. Now. Now, now, now. I'm going to... This looks... Awful, but I'm going to play this expecting them to pass and try to get some damage off on that midliner. Okay, so we basically waste a double talk, but we get some good damage. Um, to be honest, we could have played the beach instead and then gone double talk, one attack, double talk, and then set up the the Babylonia on our, on our midliner. That would have been the better way around of doing that. Um, here instead, we've, we've got to just waste all of this damage to try and get the kill. So yeah, playing saving one of the double talks was 100% the better way of doing that. Um, it's okay, still. As long as that doesn't last stand. Yeah, nice. Okay, should just win here. Uh, they're out of energy. We can just play damage. This will trigger the goldfish if they play the goldfish. Then we can get an energy off of the iguanodon. They had a lot more energy than I thought, I'll be perfectly honest. But it should still be okay. We even got a steal. Okay, they had a lot more energy than I thought. Right. That should kill. Um, yeah, that should kill. Nice. Okay, 10 wins. I think that's 10 wins. As you can see, once you get to the, the back end of this challenge, everybody's teams are just so, so bad. And now finally our Indian Star's gone. Indian Star is what was holding down our team for so long. Um, I think we actually have to play it as a carrot now instead and just play like a high damage midliner. <laughs> this looks so dodgy. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like they've got a massive advantage here. This backliner looks so much, it just looks like a better version of ours. Um, I'm actually quite scared. I think we're just gonna play really aggressive. Please don't be a double carrot. Okay, one carrot. It's not the end of the world. It's not bad. Get a discard, get some damage. Oh, they misordered. Okay, that's that's a good good start. Got some fish snack value. Now we don't really want to play a double rice here. We have already seen a carrot. We haven't seen rice, but it'd be quite aggressive for him. So I'm okay to pass out of this. And then Kasey, our rice is slower than theirs, then. 
um, we can actually still back, um, we can leave energy on the table and still back from the opponent. So here, we're going to go for another brick wall. I'm going to try to get a steal off of a carrot or if they pass. We play enough damage that we should be able to to kill them. I don't know what this ordering is, uh, if I'm honest. That, that could have been ordered a lot better. Are we dead though? We are dead. Okay, that could have gone a lot better. We tried to brick wall. We committed to, to the brick wall and um, it's not worked out for us. We I think we lose here. So we can play the carrot, we can play a rice, but we're, we're in a very, very tricky position because that midliner has so much damage. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Now now this mid our midliner is just dead. We can ignore our midliner now. Um, we probably should have just gone for the damage instead of trying to pretend that or protect that midliner. We can... If they didn't have a double talk, we could try to brick wall, but they've got so much damage that I think we have to pass out of this turn and then do something next turn. Yeah, okay. Um, we're in a lot of trouble. We do not have enough damage to... <laughs> we don't have enough damage to kill this. <laughs> We've got to play all four. Um, and they just get clean damage off, yeah. Okay. Oh no, we've taken another loss. We've taken another loss. That mid game was definitely, or the start of the game was definitely played poorly by me, but in, was in a lot of trouble just based off the cards. So here we're going to leave an energy to try to get a steal if they do steal. But they shouldn't be playing the steals now, as you can see. They will just kill us if they play good damage. Full cards on the back line are then. Um, right, 10 and 2. This could get dodgy. This could get very dodgy. Yeah, there was no way that we were winning this 1v1 unless we had a massive advantage leading into it. Uh, so we needed that early game to go better than it did. Um, could probably have not played aggressively then. A lot of things are good and better. Okay, so we've got a hair and a goader. Um, we do need the damage, so I think we go like this, and we just take, take the full damage. The question is if we move these around a bit and make this our frontliner instead again. Um, I think we're actually gonna go. Mm, no, the carrot's nice for mid game. We're we're gonna go like this and just basically play a very aggro front tank. Let's see, let's see. <laughs> How have they, oh no. Fame, you sniped me. Your team's actually good. How in the world, how far along the challenge were you? You've got this, I used to use something like that. This midline has still got solid cards, and then even that's pretty got like a, a decent rounded build. 47 speeds, 48. Okay, so we're quicker. Um which actually which is what Ravaz is slow actually? 48. Ah, we're slower than his midliner. Okay, um This is interesting. I'm going to pass round one. Oh, God. This is very interesting. Um, I'm scared of patch, to be honest with you. I think we go like this. I don't want to trigger Axie Kiss either. So we're just basically playing cards across every Axie and trying to survive if he goes with a big big attack. Um, but that's a lot of brick wall value for Fane. I don't think we're going to get the... Okay, we do get the steal off of the carrot, which is nice. Get some damage at least, but it's not a great turn. Not a great turn at all. 
of course, if we'd have passed, then we wouldn't have attacked into his brick wall, but our front would still be would be uh, struggling for damage. Um, now, I'm going to try to play risky and get two cards off. If Faint stream snipes me, then Faint stream snipes me. But to be honest, if he has two cards on his acro, I think it's a safe play for him just to, to play them here. But... Okay, nice. That, that's very good for us because we would have been in a lot of trouble had we have not got that off. And now we can actually play this combo, which is pretty cheeky too. Um, go under the shield and get a steal. So Faint would have been at three and we've stolen a let, so he's going to be at three a let. Um, honestly, I think we just... We just go for it this round. Don't play the carrot. Just try to get the damage off. If he if he big brick walls up, then fair enough. But he could also expect that we're just going to play passive with like a carrot and a and a Biden's. Or he could even try and play. Okay, he's he's full on brick wall, which is fair enough. He's played he's played it the right way around. Let's see how this works out for us. Okay. Not getting feared, which is nice. All right. Now, the question is, do we double carrot? Because once we get to the 1v1, we're in trouble. Um, he definitely still brick wars this, though. So we're going to play the double carrot. We should survive one more round. And then it's a question of if we've got enough cards and or energy to brick wall uh, one card from his back liner. So we're going to go like this. Um, going to cover the one card and then try to get a steal. Now this could go very wrong. If he plays two cards from the back liner, he just wins. He played two cards from the back liner. I don't think we have enough damage here to get the kill. Oh, it was so close. All right. Um, now... If we're faint, we just start playing the gravels, right? Yeah. Um, so now we get to see how this goes. Um, we definitely made a misplay there. Could have even played, I think, a, I don't know if a beach would have ensured it, but yeah, we would be in a, in a lot better of a position now. Um, oh, we misordered, we misordered, we misordered. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about the... The caterpillars. Oh no, it's all gone wrong. That's a comedy of misplays. So now, I mean, even if we'd have hit both of those, Faint would definitely have still won this because what he can do is he could even have just passed this round and then played four cards and beat us. Um, so really, we needed that. I think the turn where we went all in to try and kill, if we'd have predicted that Faint wasn't going to play the gravel and we'd have played something like a double cap, carrot instead then uh, we definitely would have been in a spot to, to get the win but yeah rough the uh, the misorder and the, the fireball or the double talk didn't help but yeah it was that mid game where he went full brick so unfortunately we've lost out at 10 wins um it started out really well. We had the Indian star that was helping us through. By the end, our team was definitely quite interesting. Um, if I had the back, the hair as the back line, I could have avoided the gravel end. But then the thing is, if I play the hair as the back line, three of the cards or two of the cards are useless for the entire game. Like We, we get no value out of our turnip. We get no value out of that Sarastas for most of the game. Um, we still need the, well, the, the Biden's Rice is really our only like good backline threat. Um, we could have swapped the disc as the front tank, but it wouldn't have helped much either. I think to be honest, that game um, we knew that we struggle once we get to the one v one, so we had to have played that mid game a bit better. Um, Faint predicted us there with the with the full attack. We could have played the double the double carrot, but we'd have run the risk of him gravelanting us if we didn't attack him. So. Um, yeah, it was it was a tough one, but of course I had to lose to to faint. Oh dear, yeah, 
I hope um, I hope you guys enjoyed, despite it being a bit bit all over the place. I've not had the camera open for half of it too, but um, probably, if not tomorrow, I'm going to look at doing another stream on Monday or Tuesday. Just run it back pretty much and try and get get the win this time instead. Um, but yeah, I hope I hope you all know now that yeah, it was me making posts. It's not I wasn't hacked, and. Um, yeah, we'll, tr we'll try to do better next time. Definitely not the cleanest of streams, lots of misplays. But thank you all for, for coming along and watching. And um, see you all again pretty soon in a couple of days' time. Um, yeah. Take care, Ingat, and um, have a good rest of your weekends, everybody. Now to see if I know how to turn a stream off. Okay, and live video. There we go.